and good morning so today we're going to look at the pancake aio flight controller by happy model this is an aio fc which has the vtx and receiver all built in all right straight out of the box this is the flight controller it's got the 20 by 20 mount as well as the 30.5 by 30.5 mount and the express lrs antenna right in the middle right here all right we also have the ufl connector for the vtx and um an xt30 connector a packet of stuff all right so what's inside is um, some grommets the dipole antenna and of course the connector for the esc so this particular flight controller does not come with an esc and you might need one to attach to the flight controller itself now this particular uh, pin is one of the most important thing and this one allows you to plug into whatever ESCs that you got. So this connects to the flight controller. So I'm using this 35 amp ESC by Hack RC. You can use any other ESC for this flight controller. It's just that you make sh you gotta make sure that all the wires are wired up correctly. So the um, wires here still have the pins. So what you need to do is just to deep in and use the existing connector. So I'm gonna just gonna deep in this all this on the uh, Hack RC ESC. This is a BL Heli 32. All you need is an Exacto knife and uh, just lift the tab right here on the pin itself. And once, uh, just be careful that you don't break the tab because once you break it, then the wire won't hold. So just lift the tab and pull the wire out. That's it. And um, check your wiring. And make sure you put them back in the correct sequence so here I'm putting the wires back on the pin I'm using a tweezer to just make sure that everything sits nicely and connect to the flight controller as well as the ESC and I'm not using these two wires which is the NC and the current pad so I'm just going to deepen the these two wires also I won't be using the 30.5 by 30.5 mount so I'm just going to break those and I'm just going to use a file to just smoothen out the edges of the flight controller just in case there are any sharp things that you know might cut you when you just graze upon it. Next we fit the rubber grommets but bear in mind that the rubber grommets provided uh, will not fit so well so you might need these um, aftermarket rubber grommets that would fit much better for this flight controller. For the hole mounts for the flight controller is slightly bigger and um, yeah so I'm just gonna add these and add a little spacer make, to make sure that the flight controller fits nicely. Okay, so I've mounted the stack on a 4-inch drone frame and I'm going to be building this as a 4S 4-inch quad. So I'm going to be using these uh, Happy Model 1404 3500 KV motors and I've already soldered in the camera wires as well. It's an AIO and I'm going to be using this Foxier camera, a micro camera, the Foxier micro camera as well as this uh, Foxier antenna. Okay, so now the build is complete, it's time to set it up on better flight. Alright, so I won't be changing much stuff, so I'm going to be flying it in its uh, stock configuration. Let's calibrate the accelerometer first and check the ports that everything is fine. And this one's on UWOT2 for the v open VTX and uh, just checking on to the configuration that everything is in order oh yes we do need to check on the ESCs because the ESCs are an external ESC and I'm using the BL Heli 32 ESC right so let's go down to the PIDs this will remain as is I won't touch these and everything is in good order I don't think it will twitch and the receiver tab we will do this portion later and the modes, uh, I'm just going to add a couple of stuff like flip over after crash, the total mode. And um, this is what I was talking about, the um, the ESC itself, D-Shot, whichever applies for you. 
Right, so now we'll go to the binding process. What we're gonna do is open up our Express LRS Lua script on the radio and go down to this receiver tab and click bind receiver. Oh, that was fast. Yep, and uh, just making sure that everything is in order, the pitch, the yaw, the roll. Uh, this is an SPI receiver, so you're gonna choose SPI receiver on the receiver tab. Okay, the quad's all set up and ready to go. Let's do some flying. I'm gonna be flying this in its stock setup and uh, let's check out how that goes. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Check this out. So the Pancake Flight Controller is an AIO with the VTX and receiver all in except for the ESC so it really depends on what you want to build you know you, you could build a 5 inch with this but um, of course with the F4 board probably will choose an F7 instead I would use this for a micro um, makes more sense for me uh, easier to carry around and you know get around so that's one of the reasons why I decided to build this uh, 4 inch micro there's an extra copper pad for a buzzer as well all right so i've had to adjust the rates for this because it was just a little too slow for me um, but other than that the pancake works fine and with the uh, 35m esc i think it makes a huge difference on a four inch this could be used on a race quad as well so really depends on what you want in the, uh, personally that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy have a great week and till the next one see you guys again soon ciao